All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make up a ribeye here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I uh, got another package in today, as you can see, another one of their kits. And this is the Tender Kit. It's also known as the Meat Kit. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so here it is. We've got uh, three products here, along with the little card right there. And uh, on the back of the card here, it says, what's inside your tender box? And then, of course, it names off the three products. Let's go ahead with this one here. And this one is by San Jamar. And it is a, as it says, a gourmet digital thermometer. Now, as you can see, we do have the long probe. This is just gonna be the sheath that it goes into. And they did supply us with a battery. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Going to use that to find out the temperature of the meat that uh, we're cooking. Uh, on the back of this, it does give us some information on what different donenesses are. It does uh, include uh, beef, lamb, pork, veal, fish, poultry, and then ground beef, which is a little bit different than regular beef. Uh, the next one we'll go to is this right here, and this is by Jacquard. And uh, this right here is a meat tenderizer. So uh, what you do is you'll take this just as it is, and you're going to take and push it down into the meat. And so you're going to create those little pockets where you can get, uh, for example, if you're doing a a rub of any type or, uh, or or doing any kind of soaking to it, you can take and this will then puncture the meat and you can get the seasonings and stuff down inside of it. It also, of course, um, cuts through some of the fibers and things like that in the meat and it makes it softer and more tender uh, overall. All right, and then, of course, this little thing here that slides, that's actually to release the blades for when you want to clean it. So you take and slide it over and you slide the blades up and there we go. Now we've got the little piece to go ahead and clean these blades. And then once we're ready for it and it's all dried out and everything, we can take and put it right back into it and it's ready to be used again. So uh, there we go. Pretty, a pretty simple device, but uh, definitely a good one to have, um, especially if you're into uh, really doing a good preparation on uh, your meat, uh, steak, lamb, veal, etc. Now the next one we've got is by Berghoff, and of course, obviously, this is a knife. And uh, this is, of, of course, as you can see with it being the long, thin one like that, it is considered to be a boning knife. Uh, you're going to use that to obviously debone chicken, or, or uh, if you've got a large piece of um, a large piece of uh, basically cow beef of any type, you're going to go ahead and slice around and uh, the bone and trim all that off, as well as you can use it to uh, trim off the fat. Now this is all one solid piece. The handle and the knife are all one solid piece. The handle itself feels like it's a little bit hollow there. It does have this little uh, finger catch right there so you don't slide up onto the blade. And uh, let's see. It says that uh, if you want to check out some of the safety instructions or any of that, you can go ahead to their website, of which is labeled right there, berghoffworldwide.com. So you can go ahead and check them out there if you'd like to see uh, some more specifics on the knife itself. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make up a ribeye here and uh, make myself up some dinner. And I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the tenderizer there as well as the, uh, the boning knife. There is a little bit of fat that I'd like to get rid of. Okay, so we've got some, some extra fat around the back here, and, and I'm one I like it pretty lean. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, some of this. And uh, let's see what we can do with that. Okay. 
I'll go ahead and take uh, take this. Just start at one end. Okay, and you can kind of see where some of the rows are at with this. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. There will be a link to the Bespoke Post site. And that link, if you have not gotten a box before, you can get 20 bucks off of your first box. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media as well as there is that PayPal link. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on the way down and that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. And of course, my name's Cougar. This is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!